Happy October. If you're anything like me, you're constantly searching for new films that take place specifically on Halloween or have Halloween as some major influence in the film. So today I have five films that are streaming on Shudder right now in the United States that have Halloween as a major part of the film or take place on Halloween. But I also have two honorable mentions and one of those is a very underrated horror film that doesn't get enough love that's also streaming on Shutter right now. All right, kicking off the list at number five is going to be Ginger Snaps, which is just a great little werewolf teen horror film that does have its fans, is kind of like a cult classic in some aspects, but I do think a lot of people have not seen Ginger Snaps and also forget that it takes place around Halloween time. So if you've never seen Ginger Snaps, you should definitely go check it out. It is a werewolf film, but do not expect it to be some big, uh, over the top, like monster attacking the city type of film. That's definitely not what it is. It also has two sequels, which I have actually not seen. So I should probably check those out also. All right, coming in at number four is gonna be the newcomer on this list, and that is Late Night with the Devil. This film is just a great film to put on around Halloween time, specifically because of all of the Halloween aspects included in it, the setting, as well as, of course, the discussion about Halloween, but I love the concept of this, like, late night television show, and for me personally, I really liked the little pieces in between the segments with like the loading screens and the ghosts and things like that that were on there because it made me feel like as if I was watching something on television during October, which is just the best feeling growing up watching Disney Channel, Nickelodeon, all those little segments in the middle between and after horror films or movies, excuse me, not horror films on Disney necessarily, but all those little pieces that were really catered to the season of October, for me were highlights of the year, and so, or the time of year anyway. So every time those would come on, those were really important aspects. And for me, watching Late Night with the Devil, all those little pieces, regardless of how I felt about the movie, although I do enjoy it, it's those little elements that really make me feel like this is a good one to put on around the Halloween season. Coming in number three is Night of the Demons, the original, and this is just a perfect one to throw on if you've seen it already, or if you haven't seen it, to check out for the first time. It's got so many things that are great about Halloween time. You've got like abandoned mansions and Halloween parties and teenagers causing trouble, demons, Halloween costumes, gore, all kinds of great stuff thrown in there. And again, a great one to just throw on year after year. I also would recommend the remake if you have not seen it. It's not a perfect film by any means, but all of those aspects, as well as some good gore effects are in there. That's not on Shutter right now. I'm just mentioning it, but Night of the Demons is number three. All right, coming in number two is Hell House LLC, the first one. And this is just a top notch. Halloween film to throw on. This is a super creepy film if you have not seen it. One of the best found footage type horror films and you have to excuse some bad dialogue, some bad acting in the beginning and it's not necessarily bad. It's just part of that element of the found footage if that makes sense. If you understand what I mean, there's always going to be that kind of acting and this sort of dialogue. But boy, if you have not seen Hell House LLC, Turn off the lights, please make it dark, turn up the volume and give this one its fair shake because this will creep the heck out of you if you have not seen it. And so many great elements of what we love around Halloween time, specifically haunted mazes and the creation of a maze. This is what this is all about. Cool Halloween decorations, great scares. If you have not seen it, check it out. The sequels also I would think are, I think are worth seeing four certain elements. None of them are as good as the first in my opinion, but check the first one out if you haven't seen it. All right, I've got two honorable mentions for you. The first is Donnie Darko, and this film is a film I think people often forget takes place at Halloween time. This is not a perfect horror film, and it's not necessarily one that you would always think about putting on around the Halloween season, but it does have a lot to do with Halloween. It's got some real cool, creepy moments, and it is a good story. It's a little slower, but it's good Jake Gyllenhaal performance also. And so this is a good one to put on around the Halloween season. But my second honorable mention is cheating a little. I know this video specifically was talking about 
films that are to take place on Halloween, but I wanted to talk about this one because I'm not doing another video specifically talking about this one, so I'm gonna throw it in here. And that's the Mortuary Collection. This is on Shutter right now, and this is an anthology film that I don't think anyone really talked about when it came out. I don't believe this one got nearly enough love. So if you have not checked out the Mortuary Collection, it is the perfect type of movie to throw around, throw on around Halloween time. It's got some real cool creepy moments, but enough just kind of fun, kind of like aspects to it also to make it just kind of a fun anthology watch. Definitely check it out if you have not seen it. All right, coming in number one should be no surprise if you looked at Shudder recently and it's Halloween, the OG. There are a few Halloween films on Shudder. There's the remake, the sequel to the remake, and a few others, but you cannot go wrong with the original classic Halloween. And I say this in all sincerity, I don't believe you can ever watch this too many times on Halloween. Seriously, October comes around. Halloween is the quintessential film to put on around this time of year, and it's on Shutter right now. So what better way to celebrate the best season and celebrate Halloween and trick-or-treaters and all things spooky, but watching the original classic Halloween itself. That is the one that I watch. That is my list. Thank you so much for watching. Tell me which ones you will be checking out this Halloween season down below. And I hope you're having a fantastic October. I don't want scared on a big bad wolf. Oh, I never see the silver line and only see the gold. I don't speak in caps, dog. Everything bold. And I put that on myself because it's a life that I done chose. I said come through. You can see me on the west side. Now it's funny how they walking with it.